Right, so today I'm doing something that I never, ever thought I would do. And I'm pulling flies for walleyes. Walleyes eat this? That doesn't even make sense to me. But <laughs> I'm out here at Troy Peterson and Mr. Bluegill on the uh, Fox River in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And we're pulling flies. Tell me, tell me what this is. So really what it is, is kind of a glorified three-way rig with uh, some streamer flies, some small streamer flies. And uh, we run some really long leads off of a, you know, a three-way sinker. Uh, and we're just kind of pumping them through the water. And that fly, those flies are down there kind of just undulating uh, in the water. And the walleyes, they chomp them, man. Is this just a river thing? I mean, I, it looks cool. I want to try it on a lake at home, to tell you the truth. You know, I, to be honest, I've never tried it on a, on a lake. Um, but anywhere there's current, um, it seems to work. We've taken this just about on every river system in the Midwest for walleyes, and I've caught fish doing it. Where it really got started and really popular is here on the Wolf River and the Fox River in Oshkosh and Winnicani. And uh, a lot of guys use it for the white bass. And what's cool about that is that when you start getting them, um, you know, we'll run two, sometimes three flies on a rig, and we'll have all three flies go down with fish. So you're bringing up doubles and triples, and it's just a hoot. <laughs> it's wild, and you're, you're, if I drove past, I would have no idea what you're doing, because you're snapping with a bait caster, and we're in, what, 20-some feet? What yep. type of structure are you? Um, so, you know, depending on where the pods of fish are, typically when the walleyes come back, um, they're going to be in that deeper water wherever the faster current is because they're they're lazy They just want to get back to the lakes and start eating so as we're you know Intercepting these fish coming down through this deep high fast current water uh, They see this little puff of a of a bait go by they turn around and just come bam and you're just you're ripping them so that that the feathers are kind of pulsating yep, you know, and pulsating. Just... But then what you when you see on the, on the cutaway there, um, how the rig is is you have uh, about a foot lead um, below a three-way swivel, um, a little piece of a line, and then a barrel swivel. And then off that barrel swivel, we'll have two links. We'll have a short and we'll have a nice long. And as we're pumping it, one may not have as much motion as the other ones, or our front one's maybe just going to be you know, nice and straight, or the back one is doing this. Sure. Um, so we're kind of attracting. And some days you get them on the long one because they really like the movement. Other days they just want it nice and slow going through the water. I can't believe it doesn't get all tangled up. It looks <laughs> like it would just be a nightmare, but I've actually reeled up a couple times just to check, and they're not even twisted. I nope. don't It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but honestly, oh, I one. hooked up. You can't even ask for better timing. What are we cruising at about? Point seven. Yeah, and then uh, this almost feels like a walleye. Ooh, little it's not, Walter. It's not the biggest of walleye. Nah, it's still good timing. But uh, just like that. <laughs> and as you can see, these flies probably should be replaced. They have just been absolutely annihilated. That's ridiculous. I so I'd lip them, but uh, they got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't have teeth. Too little. This is cool. Something different, never tried. Like I was saying, I I actually think I would try using something like this on a lake back home because nobody does it. And I'm thinking like those deep fish down at the bottom of the weed line where you would hit with a jig and wrap or, or pulling creek chubs or whatever. When the bite's a little funky or off in that clear water, if you could get a little streamer or a little fly that's like a perch pattern and just, oh, she just had another one. I, I'm gonna try it. You know they haven't seen that. <laughs> no, you know, and the other thing is too. Oh, I got um, bumped too. For for guys that shore fish, okay, this is a great method for shore fishing. You shorten everything up and use just a small bell sink. And now we're using you know two to four ounce weights doing this to fight the current. But when you're on shore, um, you can take just a, like a one ounce bell sinker, a three quarter ounce bell sinker, shorten your lead up, maybe just r run one fly, just cast that thing as far as you can offshore, and then just start pumping it back, and the shore fishermen just kill the white bass and walleyes doing this. <laughs> Is there any method to the madness as far as colors? You get bright stuff that stands out, or what? Uh... You know, some days it, uh, it it's it's dark colors. Don't be afraid to just use black. Um, black and red, black and purples, 
Uh, my favorite are like kind of like the purples and reds, purples and pinks with just a little bit of flash blue in there. Um, you know, trying to represent more kind of a shiner color, that iridescent purplish um, is definitely gotcha. my favorite colors. Are we pulling into the current, going with the current? What, uh, what do you normally do? Um, most of the time we pull into the current. Now we've got a really fast current with all this high water. Um, so with a heavy weight and what are we doing? Probably about half a mile an hour or so. Um, we're almost at that point where we can't get a good angle on it. Uh, so a lot of times then what we'll do is we'll switch around and uh, go with the current and then there you can get more of your natural 45 degree and uh, as those fish are swimming down you pull that bait right in front of their face that's when they have like two they, something miles yeah, about two and a half cruising. miles hour. but you got to remember the current's going about two and a half sure. or, you know about well i'd say about two miles an hour um so if you're just a little bit faster with the currents going those fish don't really have to work real hard to get get at those baits sure makes sense this is incredible i'm gonna put this down because both my arms are like <laughs> you need my spinach but i appreciate it troy hey thank you <laughs> good luck guys <laughs>